Welcome back to another review of a Lightning component from the Salesforce App Exchange. Today, we're looking at currency exchange rates from Salesforce Labs. Here's the listing on the App Exchange, and we can see from the description and the image that this is a free component which displays multiple currencies and the exchange rate with reference to a base currency. If you've watched some of the other reviews, you'll remember me saying how I like components because they make me smarter. Writing an integration like this is gonna take a lot of time and effort, so if I can make use of something that somebody else has already done, that's gonna give me a great advantage. In order to test out the component, I first created myself a Lightning App page and added the exchange rate component to it. You can see in the design time properties, it's possible to change the default base currency. So I can change it from US dollars to Great British pounds. And then the preview will update. The list for uh, the currencies uh, is quite long and uh, doesn't seem to be any way to be able to control that at design time. So I thought I'd also try it out on the account detail page and I added a separate uh, tab for exchange rates uh, just to see how it would look there. And what we see is we get quite a long list of all of the supported currencies and the ability at runtime to switch the, uh, the base currency and get the revised conversion rates back. After testing the basic operation of the component, I wanted to see what customizations might be possible. The two things I had in mind was to be able to control which currencies were shown in the list and to control the base currency programmatically. Since there's very little documentation for this component on the App Exchange, I'm having a look at the managed package. I can see that the namespace is currency rates, so that's something to note when we go digging into the Aura docs and looking for the components. And the components themselves, there's two, and they appear to be connected up to Apex classes on the back end, which is pulling the currency feed information from Yahoo. With the basic details of the components and their namespace, I should be able to use the Aura Docs reference app to find out more information. I was expecting to find the components inside the currency rates namespace inside the components tree, but they weren't there. And in fact, there wasn't any reference in the Aura Docs to the currency rates namespace at all, or any evidence of the components. So I'm left feeling very puzzled. How is it that a component can show up inside the Lightning App Builder but there's no sign of it at all inside the Aura Docs app. In terms of the component itself, it's given me very little value. Yes, it's spared me the effort of building an integration to the Yahoo currency feed, but all of that value is lost when I can't customize it and tailor it for the use cases that I have in mind. What would be great here is to tie the base currency of the component to the currency of the current record, for example, an account or an opportunity. But the way that the component's been constructed there's just no option to do that. Using the component as it is also has limited options because of the formatting and the amount of screen real estate that it takes up. So a different outcome than previous reviews. A component which looked initially very promising was let down by poor configuration and no ability for customization. I'd love to get your feedback on this and any of the other components that we reviewed. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.